Hey, first graders, we are going to have our first informative writing test tomorrow. Okay, and so we're going to prep with, for that by creating our own Foursquare today um, using information we learn about bees. And we will learn that information from a story that we are going to read together. Okay, um, and so here you are, you're watching your video for right now. Um, and the story can be found by clicking here on the B. That will take you to the story I want you to use um, to listen and learn about bees and then put the, some of the facts you learn about bees onto a Foursquare. Okay, so I have my Foursquare ready in my journal. Um, you only need a half page for a four, for a Foursquare. So it's okay if you are using um, a single page from another week, okay, as long as you know where it is that you're working from and are able to reference back to that when you're writing your paragraph, okay? So when you write your paragraph, you'll want to have it open where we can see both pages in one picture if needed, okay? And so I'm going to do my four square here. Um, I only used one page for my groundhog's paragraph. And so that's why I have this extra space, okay? So I put my topic, bees, on the top line, right in the middle, put a box around it, and then broke the page into the four sections. So I am now ready to go listen to the story and pay attention to the details. And if you learn something interesting about bees, give yourself a clue in one of these boxes. I am not going to do the four square with you. We've done several of these together, and now it's your turn to see how well you can do by yourself. So give a listen to the story and take a picture of your Foursquare when you're done. And then tomorrow, you will go on and um, use that information from your Foursquare to write your informative paragraph. Are you ready? Good luck. <laughs> 